Hi, my name is John Vasco. I'm the manager of content and community for AICHE. And I'm here at the annual student conference, the 2016 annual student conference in San Francisco. I'm here today with four of the international travel grant winners, student uh, travel grant winners, that have come from countries uh, as far away as Indonesia, Honduras, Pakistan, and Kazakhstan. Um, and we're here to talk about the International Student Travel Grant, which brings students from other countries so that they can develop their leadership skills here in, where the student conference is in the United States. This year it's in San Francisco. And we're going to hear a little bit uh, from each of these students and what their experience has been thus far. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, I would love it if each of you, I know what countries you're from, but you know, sometimes names are really a little bit difficult. So why don't, uh, why don't we start with you and you can introduce yourself, tell us uh, your, your name and your university. And you know, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Javeria Ahmed. I'm from Daud University of Engineering and Technology. I'm from Pakistan. I'm currently doing BE in Chemical Engineering. Excellent. I'm a SOFA mom. Excellent. Okay. My name is Stephen Ariel Christiandi. I'm from Institute Technology Bandung in Bandung, Indonesia. And currently, I'm on my junior year. My name is Madina Rahimjalova, and I'm from Kazakhstan, from Nazarbayev University. Currently, I'm doing uh, Chemical Engineering Junior Class. Junior. Excellent. My name is Enorita Contreras, and I'm from Honduras. I'm from the National Autonomous University, and I'm a student, my major is uh, Chemical Engineering 2, and I'm in my fourth year. Excellent. Well, thank you so much for introducing yourselves because there's no way that I would have made it through that <laughs> without fumbling. So, I know you've only been here for a couple of days and there's, there's, you're coming from far away and there's been some jet lag, um, so it's probably difficult to kind of get used to things, but you must have something that's a favorite part of, you, of the conference or the experience for you thus far, whether it's, you know, seeing the Golden Gate Bridge for the first time <laughs> or... <laughs> or shopping, or maybe something here at the conference. So tell us, what, what's your favorite thing thus far? My favorite thing was uh, when we attended Student Chapter President Meeting, in which we get the opportunity to meet different presidents from all, of, all around the world, and discuss the opportunities and challenges we're facing as a student chapter. Right, I could, I'm sure that's quite uh, informative yeah, for you to right. kind of trade ideas and, and exactly. whatnot. Exactly, it's, it's by far the favorite part of my oh. conference. Excellent. Well, well for me, I think it's the welcome keynote and the networking branch. Okay. So, at the welcome keynote, we hear a speech from Mr. Jim Flitterling, the COO of Dow Chemical, and it's very, very enthusiastic and it motivates us about being a chemical engineer. He told us that this is the right time to be the chemical engineer, and before that, we all are how we, the International Travel Grand Winners, get to have a chance to chat with Jim Flitterling for his speech, and that is really awesome. That's great. I'm glad you had an opportunity to, to speak with him a little bit. Yes. That's excellent. And what about you? I also enjoyed uh, his speech, speech of uh, CEO of Dell Company, and also I enjoy just uh, communicating with students from all over the world, from different chapters. Uh, I, I like getting acquainted with new people. Yeah. So this is so interesting to see people from all of the country, all of the world, and just to be with people with like-minded students who also study chemical engineering and who just explain you why they choose it. Right. And you just get um, enthusiastic. Uh, you, you become more enthusiastic in studying chemical engineering because you see how they are enthusiastic in that. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. Good. So it helps you reinforce your decision. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And Elisa? Uh, well, I can't decide yet because I love the Rare Industries panel. I uh, like it a lot to have the opportunity to, to like ask people the questions about how is to uh, be a chemical engineer in the real world, what the struggles they had when they started, and when, where they are, they are now. So mm -hmm. they were very honest with how the world is, and I love that. Then I love meeting them too because we are so different cultures, but at the end, so we're studying the same thing and we want the same thing 
too. Like we have, we want a better world, and we're working toward it. Yeah. I think. Excellent. Yeah. You guys think you'll keep in touch after the sure. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? Definitely. That's excellent. That's yeah. great. So tell me, I know making a decision about what to study in is it, it, it was a long time ago when I did that, but um, and it's not easy, you know, deciding what the you know what you want to study. So tell me, each of you, what inspired you to become a chemical engineer? What motivated you? Why did you decide to do that? Well, I was. Uh I, I just, I love chemical engineering from the beginning mm -hmm. because I love the chemicals and the reactions and the separation part. So I decided that I, when I will grow up, I will be a, I become a chemical engineer. Wow, so excellent. Inspired me. Good. The world is very big and it inspired me, the, and the nature and the, everything about, everything about the chemicals, it's very amazing. Right. It seems like you have a really you know, serious interest in yeah. it, which is good. Let's see. For me, I become chemical engineering because I see the prospect of being a chemical engineer in Indonesia is very big. Indonesia is a developing country, and for the, for the Indonesia to develop into a higher level, we need our industries, mostly chemicals. So, being a chemical engineer will take a vital role in Indonesia's future. So, that's why I become chemical engineer. Excellent. Excellent. Actually, my sister inspired me to study chemical engineer. She is a geophysicist, but uh, the way how she explained how she likes physics, chemistry, and maths made me give give me a chance to make a final decision that I want to study this. And I really enjoy my education. I really enjoy studying this kind of things, and I think I will be a good engineer in my future. Excellent. <laughs> well, uh, to be honest, uh, when I was a little girl, I always wanted to be like someone in the world I think that, like everyone mm -hmm. but um, I wanted to do something to help the world because we're kind of going down <laughs> right now <laughs> so I think that the first thing, thing that came to my mind was uh, something to do with energy and water and chemicals and all those things so when I saw that there wasn't a chemical engineering uh, major I was like that's my thing Right. So yeah, that's why I chose uh, chemical engineering because I want to be able to help the world someday. Excellent. Well, it's really inspirational. I know chemical engineering can make such a huge difference in, in you know so many different aspects of, yeah. of the world. And, you know, in terms of sustainability and efficiencies, and it requires smart people. And you guys certainly seem like you uh, are able to handle the rigors of the uh, of, of of the course. So how about after you've uh, graduated from your classes, uh, from your, your school, have you thought about what you want to do? Because sometimes people go in, they decide to study longer, sometimes people want to get a job right away, or you know they have sort of stepping stones to get you know what they ultimately want to do. Uh, uh, I'm going to continue my studies and I will be opting for postgraduate programs. Okay. Excellent. Well, I want to become a process engineer, and because process engineer, with be, by becoming process engineer, I can gain experience, and that experience may help change Indonesia and maybe later the world. Excellent. I want to continue my education in the United States, and after graduating from the United States grad school, I want to continue my work in Kazakhstan. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to like work two years after I get graduated because um, I want to get my master's degree in nuclear energy in South Korea so they ask for two years of experience. Wow, in South Korea? Yeah, now, South that, Korea. Will you, do you speak Korean? No, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to learn right now. Wow. Yeah. So w will the course be done in, in Korean or will it be done in English? No, it will be done in English but okay. I will be needing Oh right, yeah, to, yeah, to, to, there. to make sure you get your kimchi right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, uh, Javeria, right? Did I get right? <laughs> yeah. Stephen, Medina, and Eloisa. It's been great getting to know you, and we're really grateful that you were able to come to the conference and to come to this interview, so that other uh, students across the world can get inspired and apply for the uh, travel grant. And I wanted to let everybody know that this travel grant is uh, is 
made possible by the AICHE Foundation's Doing a World of Good campaign, and um, we're really happy to uh, be able to bring this opportunity to so many great students across the world. So thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.